Well, it's the last week of December hockey here in Swiss top tier ice hockey. We are here at U.S. Bank Plaza in St. Sophia as the Bears host the Briarwood Pharaohs. The Pharaohs coming off a home loss against Shrive last week. St. Sophia having won their last two are hot. Let's see how things play out tonight here from St. Sophia. In the zone, Terry tosses across to Skinner. First time these two teams have met so far this season. Last year, Briarwood won both of the games. Terry with a great shot. Materi, though, hugging the post, able to stop the rebound. Troy Terry drops it back to Schmaltz. Bounces to the side. Goligoski back down to Skinner. Schmaltz with a shot off the blocker. And Lund looking to break it out, unable to do so. Skinner still has it down low, drilled by Zabo. Puck bouncing around. Ellison up to Lund. Lund rips this one on Markstrom, who drops it out to McAvoy. Up to Skinner. Bodied on the play. So is he, Pedersen. Against his former goaltender in Jacob Markstrom. Both played together back in Vancouver about a decade ago. Ellison. Bobrovsky misses on the shot as his stick was picked up by Goligoski. Looking to break it out, McAvoy. Across the side to Zadina. Philip Zadina drilled on the play. Ellison down low, still on the ice. Drops it over to Elias Pedersen. Unable to get past the defender. He's bodied as he tried to enter the zone. Max Domi over to Skinner. Across to Hornqvist. Hornqvist down low. Breakout to Eichel. Eichel. Two on two. Pedersen able to get the rebound. This one shot wide. Eichel reads the defense incorrectly. Unable to get it in front of the net. Hornqvist. Bodied on the play. Pedersen keeps it alive. Glenn Denning back to Pedersen. Pedersen rips it. Eichel looking for the wide shot. Pedersen unable to get the open net as Markstrom threw the glove out last second. Skinner over to McAvoy. Looking to break it out to Domi. Cross to Skinner. McAvoy. Skates this one out. Bodied on the play. Pedersen. Though they've been unable to show for it this season in terms of goals, Briarwood, their offense has pretty much outplayed every single team that they've faced in terms of puck possession and time in the zone. Goligoski able to get it as far as his own blue line before the puck is picked up by Johnson off of an Eichel turnover. Uncharacteristic of them, a breakaway saved by Matiri. Berlin lose the puck. Glenn Denning, penalty coming up on a slash. Puck enters the zone. Bedard unable to chase it down in time to keep a man advantage, but they will have a man advantage on a penalty. Kent Johnson called for a slash as the Bears are now short-handed. Briarwood, one of the more successful power play squads this season, but still not as great as they would like to be. Power plays in general have not been great in the top tier this season. Minute to play here. Power play for all of that for Briarwood. Lund down the side. Unable to stay directly on his feet. Two direct bodies and nobody chasing with him. Burns bodied on the play, though. And puck dumped down. Ten seconds to go. Looking for one last little bit of momentum. Three seconds. Ellison gets a last second shot off. Goes over the net off a deflection. And a power play will remain for the beginning of the second period. So far, shots in Briarwood's favor. Time on attack fairly even. But physicality has all been in Briarwood's favor as it has been for the last several seasons. Five straight seasons in the top three hitting teams in all of Swiss hockey, not just top tier. All five of those years, they have been the most hitting team in top tier. Janikowski dumps it in to kill the penalty as one last rush potentially for Briarwood is out of the box now is Kent Johnson. And the power play over for Briarwood. Lund able to keep it on the side. Kent Johnson picks it up, though. Janikowski, one-on-one. -on -one, becomes a one-on-three as he's chased down. Sticks with it. Troy Terry now. Goligoski blocked on the shot. Bobrovsky now to the side. 
two on two. Hit dumped into the zone. Lund. Bobrovsky with a backhanded shot. McAvoy. Schmaltz looking to break it out. Bodied as he exits. Troy Terry picked up by Ellison. Still down. Goligoski tosses to Schmaltz, who finally back on his feet has a breakaway. Troy Terry. Well read by Matiri. One too many moves by Terry. And now Jack Eichel, who has had trouble with the puck tonight. A turnover that led to a breakaway earlier this game. Morrissey. Unable to drop it back to a fellow rushing forward. Skinner. Unable to get it too far out of the zone. Morrissey with time. Blocked by the defense. Shot on there. And a penalty coming up again against... This time against Briarwood. And St. Sophia will have a power play as another slashing call. This one on Elias Pedersen. So the first penalty was on the other team. No success for Briarwood. Let's see if the Bears have any success on their power play this season. Ranked in the lower half of top tier power plays. Shot off the left-handed blocker of Matiri. McLeod drops it back to McAvoy. Glenn Denning rips this one down to clear. And Hall will chase Burns, who skates it behind his own net. Drops it up to Domi, who's drilled on the play. Glenn Denning able to dump it back in behind the net and kill even more time. Burns now. McAvoy. Domi looking to set something up on the power play. Unable to do so. Drops back behind his own net. McAvoy. McLeod. Burns was on a power play rush. And now back the other way, Glenn Denning to Hall. Back to Glenn Denning. McAvoy. And the power play over now. Both unsuccessful on the slashing power plays. McLeod with no chance going down the ice for St. Sophia. Lund, two on two, rips one on net. Glenn Denning able, unable to beat Burns, rather. Skinner, a one-on-one. -on -one. Hit, puck, bounces scantily into the zone. Is now back the other way, a three-on-three -three rush. Ellison, looking to cross Markstrom, though, able to cover, and will have a dead puck in front of the goalie for the first time in nearly a period and a half. The Bears in brown tonight. A sea of brown here at U.S. Bank Plaza. Lund, off the faceoff win, unable to get the rebound was Bobrovsky, but he beats a man. And now Ellison looking for Lund in front of the net, unable to get a rebound. Bobrovsky loses the puck. Druin drops it back to Kent Johnson. Ellison skating it himself, one on two, two on two. Rips this one wide, blocker side. Bobrovsky looking for the front of the net. Pedersen, great shot, but it's saved off the left pad of Markstrom. Reichel. Cross to Johnson. Pedersen. As time expires on the second period. Still a scoreless game, which in Briarwood's history this season has not been a good thing, but they do lead on time on attack and every other stat except for passing. St. Sophia, perfect in passing so far. Not something you see every day in a professional hockey game. 20 minutes to play in regulation here. One back there to McAvoy. Bobrovsky. Called for icing as the pass went wide of Ellison. To the blocker side of Matiri. Five on five faceoff in the zone. One back by Ellison. Been the story of this game so far, except for the one to start this period. Bobrovsky able to get past the red line before he dumps it in this time. McAvoy looking to break it out to Skinner. Bodied on the play. Zabo loses to Terry. Terry on the breakaway. Mueller able to pull it away. Lund cross to Ellison. Ellison, his stick lifted as he shot, and Markstrom able to cover that one. 16-18 to play here in the third period.
Schmaltz against Ellison. 1-1 one -one in face-off so far this period. Ellison now with two wins to take the lead in their competition. Lund bodied on the play by McAvoy. Schmaltz drilled himself. Bobrovsky looking for the wide man intercepted by McAvoy. Skinner tripped up on the play by Bobrovsky who will go to the box. No success for either team on the power play. A second chance at that for the Bears. Meyer. Excuse me, Mueller up to Glenn Denning. Drops this one back to Morrissey. Blocked there. He had a wide open shot, but blocked by the men in front. Hall bounces it back there to Moser, who I finally correctly announced the name of. Domi loses the puck to Glenn Denning now. Glenn Denning. With a rush, treating it like a normal 5-on-5 five -five opportunity. Hall circling around the net. Hall, great with clutch goals this season. And it's a 4-on-1 rush. As the puck poked away there, Hall able to get it away. Drew in. And a great one-timer saved their glove side by Matiri. 5-on-5 five -five hockey now. Puck in neutral ice. Hall able to pick it up and skate it himself, but it's picked up by Drew in before he's able to enter the zone. Two on four. Cross there. Unable to get to the net. Moser tripped on the play. And another penalty coming up in this one. This one against the Bears. Bobrovsky looking to cross. Lund unable to get a shot off. As a tripping penalty on the Bears coming up against Mark Jankowski. Johnson to face Jack Eichel. McAvoy. Beats Kuznetsov, and that one out of play, and another penalty coming up for delay of game on the Bears. Excuse me. Simply out of play. Looked like they might potentially call that one, but as it went into the bench and not over the glass, they do maintain it as a dead puck, no penalty. Zabo now. Rips one on net. McAvoy able to swallow up the rebound. And a penalty coming up for interference. Four on four hockey now. Jack Eichel called for contact made entering the zone. Four on four for 52 seconds, after which St. Sophia will have their third power play of the game. Face off one. Mueller drops it back to Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky. Unable to make a move. McAvoy, been incredible on that defense. Intercepted by Mueller. Shorthanded now. Back to Pedersen. Troy Terry. Skinner. Bodied on the play. Schmaltz to Terry. Lose the puck to Pedersen. Pedersen fighting in the corner. Drops it over to the side for Bobrovsky. Burns able to pick it up. Back the other way for St. Sophia. Skinner breaks it out of the zone. Neutral ice. Three on three. Make that three on four. Terry, though, with a move. Unable to get a shot off. Kuznetsov up to Ellison. Rips one blocked by the defense. Burns up to Schmaltz. Skinner. Terry. Great puck movement by St. Sophia. Rips one on Matiri. Four minutes to play. Ellison loses the puck to Hornqvist. Hornqvist rips a shot. Terry off the post. Jack Eichel slows things down behind his own net. Zabo. Scary chance there for Troy Terry. Looks like he had it. Crowd did too. Pedersen drops it wide of the net. Nothing going. Gospa here. Beat on the play there. One on two. Great move. Hornqvist. Unable to beat Matiri. Matiri has been a rock wall. Max Domi back to Brent Burns. Charlie McAvoy. Down low. Bodied on the play. 45 seconds in regulation. Domi looking to end it with three points and none in favor of Briarwood. 37.2 seconds. Still a scoreless game. And the boys in brown will have a chance at an offensive faceoff to the glove side of Matiri. One against Ellison. Goligoski loses it to Bobrovsky. Ellison. 
Rips one on net. Lund back to Morrissey. Tanev. His shot blocked. Gets the rebound. Shot blocked again. Johnson. 20 seconds. Morrissey. Great defense. Lund now. Last second regulation rush. Glenn Denning. Along the side. Six seconds. And Johnson is down. And not a good fall for Kent Johnson. And a final six-second face-off opportunity for Briarwood. Bedard wins it back to Tanev. Last second shot! He scores! Connor Bedard! Ends this in regulation and heartbreak for St. Sophia. All these fans thought they were coming home with at least a point. And that is almost certainly not the case now, as Glenn Denning will end this one. Briarwood, a last second goal. Connor Bedard, the hero for Briarwood as they come away with a victory. 1-0 regulation win for the Pharaohs as they continue their season back in the win column. That is their final game of this calendar year. They head home to face Valnester in January. So they will come off the Christmas and New Year break with a 1-0 victory here in St. Sophia. The Bears coming up short and ending their win streak at 2. For Briarwood Pharaohs Hockey, we will see you in January. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to you. We'll see you very, very soon.